What is up you guys today I'm gonna teach you about image moving here on Sony Vegas Pro. Oh wait, it's now Magix Vegas Pro. I'm not used on to saying it, and I'm definitely going with Sony. Anyways we have been wondering on what really is the best way to move objects in Vegas Pro. There are a lot of ways on how to move an object and the most common one is probably turning off the aspect ratio. But I've done this in my previous videos and the objects I used were noticeably stretched. But reforming it helped me a lot. But the problem is that the size of the image is not accurate anymore. The track motion feature used to be my best option for this case. But yeah once you've used it, you won't be able to use that track again. Because it doesn't only position the subject, but the entire track. So when you put an object in that track it basically follows the position you've positioned on your previous object of that track. But luckily I discovered this method which is literally the best that I have now. If you have a better method please, let me know in the comments section, so that you can rule this video. So without further ado, let's begin. First things first, set out your project video properties. I'm not gonna teach you how to set it out though, since I'm not covering this topic for today. But if you don't know how to, then just click the card that just appeared right at the top right of this video. So now you've set it up, it's time for the second step and which will take place in the event pan and crop feature. Just unlock the aspect ratio, it's that simple. The third one will be editing out the size of whatever the rectangle is this. You edit the width and height of it as the ratio you're currently using for your project. For example, I'm using a resolution of 1920 by 1080 now, which means I need to put that out on the position settings also. The fourth step is locking the aspect ratio back to its place. So what, uh, what did I do? Did I do nothing? Well, not. As you can see, you can size this rectangle without changing its aspect ratio. You can also place the subject at the very corners of your video which I hadn't done when I was a noob. But I'm pretty sure I'm still a noob even to this day. The fifth step is placing your object at where should it start. The sixth step is moving your slider and where your object will stop moving. The seventh step is adding a keyframe in which you will position your object at its last phase of moving. I hope by now you understand the logics of these keyframes. Like if it moves too slow then move the keyframe a bit left. And there, you have it, the best way I have into moving stuffs. It gets the accurate size of the object unlike turning off the maintain aspect ratio, and doesn't use separate tracks as much as track motion does. But I recommend using track motion, if a scene uses more than one photos at the same time. Hope this video will help you out cause it worked for me. Thanks for the view, and viewing this video too.